You have a, a sun beard. Oh my goodness. Keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> Why are you filming me? Because you're cute. Oh my goodness. I just want to keep a record of how cute you are. Where are we going? We're going to the, I guess, orientation, the meet the masters for the start of the season of the master gardening classes, which Jeremiah and I are both taking. So, in gardening sense, if this was like Star Wars, we'd be going to the Jedi Council. Uh, but for gardeners. <laughs> Yes, that's where you want to go with this. I can, I can get down with that. <laughs> I can't wait to meet them. Sorry. How long are we supposed to bow? <laughs> Stop. No, seriously, I don't want to mess it up. Super low or like a half bow? Oh. Plank on the floor, you think? Too much? Video. Get, the, get a plank. Oh. Video of that. Meet. The, hold on. <laughs> Stop. Meet the master. <laughs> Jedi's right there. Look, see? I told you there'd be masters here. <laughs> Look for the black robes. <laughs> Stop, Maya. No, seriously. You think this is a joke? No. This is I know, I'm taking it very serious. A Master Jedi is not something to joke about. They can totally just mind trick you and cut your arm off. The lightsaber. So what'd you think, future Master Gardener? It was really awesome. Uh, we didn't do any video because I got nervous. I was like, I don't want to be that person. I actually went in and didn't tell. Anybody? Well, I did tell one lady because she asked what we did for our job. I was like, well, we they were all care. about the men gardeners. <laughs> that was a hot commodity. <laughs> there aren't Very a lot strong. of men. <laughs> there aren't a lot of men in the master gardener program here. And so they were really excited at the prospect of having someone to do some heavy lifting. So it was really awesome. We're pumped. We start our classes in September and uh, we will be the class of 2019 for the, for the Faulkner County Master Gardeners. And I will be graduating in my Jedi robe where I, I will take a knee and be knighted with a lightsaber. I don't think that they have graduation, maybe. Well, then we will have our own graduation ceremony here in the pavilion. <laughs> and I will have a really awesome gardener come do the ceremony. <laughs> hey Gary, what's up man? I know that I talk about tomatoes all the time and kind of like obsess over them, but they really are so good. You know what my favorite thing is? At the end of a warm day, when you come out to the garden and you get a really, really ripe tomato and you bite into it and it's still kind of warm and it's just so ripe that it literally, I know that tomatoes are fruit, so don't be that person, but it tastes like fruit and like, you know that it is, even whenever they don't taste good, they're still fruit. But you know what I'm talking about? Like it's so juicy and sweet. It's just my favorite. This tomato right here, this is a prime example of why I don't eat tomatoes the rest of the year and why I say store-bought tomatoes taste like disappointment right here. Because this is what a tomato should taste like. Hey, will you try this? Uh, Come on, man. What is it? It's just a tomato. Uh, this is a prime example of what a tomato should taste like, okay? I'm not promising to swallow it. Okay, look, he's getting his head in the game. Listen, you're about to be a master gardener. And that doesn't mean I have to eat tomatoes well. <laughs> okay, just one little nibble. <laughs> I can just feel it squishing in my mouth. Think of it, okay, you don't mind when ice cream squishes in your mouth? <laughs> or you Not don't- even close. You don't mind when, um... I can't. <laughs> I'm trying, I really can't. <laughs> okay, it's fruit. It's not. It is, it's fruit. It's not very good fruit. I can do it. <laughs> I could ah no! <laughs> <laughs> Just the juice hit my mouth and I'm like, no. <laughs> it's like pre chili. It's horrible. What? <laughs> it's just not good. 
<laughs> I seriously just got done saying how this is what a tomato should taste like and this is exactly why I don't eat store-bought tomatoes because this is so good. Cool, I don't eat store-bought tomatoes either. I'm not a, I'm a not prejudiced to tomatoes. Will you hold this one? Sure. That's See? my lunch tomorrow. This is a safe tomato. I can hold it, I can smell it, I'm not gonna eat it. You're missing out? Uh, I think I'm fine. I'm one of life's greatest treasures. You like ground cherries. I do. Very different. I need to get some pine nuts and make some pesto. Tomatoes, look at this. Oh, wow. That's that volunteer plant. Yes. Those are really good. What'd you say? It is interfering with my ground cherries. <laughs> we, do, we have a, do we have a territory war going on here? It's not a war. It's like, I'm about to rip that plant up and toss it. Mm. <laughs> Homie, you abandoned my tomato. <laughs> I'm done with Priorities. you. I'm done with Priorities. you. Isn't that lovely? This one is just begging to be my lunch tomorrow. So we have this lovely cool front that's come through and the low over the next few nights is like 62, which is absolutely insane for right now. Um, and the highs are in the 80s. And I'm thinking that's fantastic because I have a lot of work out here to do to get ready for fall. Thanks, Holmes. Uh, don't say I never did nothing for you. These cactus zinnias are pretty. Wow. Look at those guys. Come on with it, banana trees. I like want to sit in the middle of it. No, they look awesome. For that short period when I was a kid, we lived in California. My dad was in the Navy. Mm -hmm. We had a dog, Libby, and she had her puppies in the center of a cluster of banana trees. I remember that. Oh. Well. San Diego. Our dogs will not be having any puppies in these banana trees. So there's that. Because they're dudes, but also oh, they yeah. will not be reproducing at all After because tomorrow. Sam and Bear, Sam, Sam. I haven't had Sam in years. Because Bear and Con have appointments in the morning. Moment um, of silence, everyone. Moment, moment of silence, silence for Con and Bear's manhood. Because after do the morning, do. that will be no more. So I know I said I was gonna harvest the tomatoes in the morning, but whenever I see a really pretty, perfectly formed and not cracked or blemished tomato, I don't wanna risk it. I wanna take it in tonight. Because I've woken up too many times this year to a bunch of damaged fruit. I think some of the tomatoes that would have been my biggest ones this year were ones that I had to toss because they're half eaten. These look pretty good though. I see lots of salsa. Lots of it. <laughs> and chili. Sure. And spaghetti. Sure. Ooh, and Kajari. Sammy's. Is for Kajari ready? Doesn't it feel so good out here? It's so cool. <laughs> You know these chrysanthemum melons? Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh snap, did it come off yet? Very it... close. Oh man. Are we leaving it? Leave it till oh, tomorrow. Oh my gosh. It's ready! Sorry. It's orange! <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me now! <laughs> Go down here and let's look what at the- What the heck? Oh no, it came from right there, the beans. It I just understand, made... but it made it all the way over here. Oh yeah, they do what they want. What are we looking? For the chrysanthemum melons down here. It's almost dark. I can't believe my camera's even focusing. Oh, wow, look at this big boy. That's a mutant if I ever saw one. And I was slacking this year on pulling faciated blossoms. I've had so many fused tomatoes. I'm still just steadily balancing this stack of big tomatoes. Might have to start bagging these. Yeah, they don't get very big. Yeah, what are, how do you know when it's right? The catches, I suppose. I haven't grown these. There's a bunch in here. Yeah, there's one on the ground. Look, is that one detached? I'm gonna have to check it from the other side. It's getting really dark. Wow, look at all these peppers. I know, they look good, huh? Yeah. I ate a hot pepper the other day on the camera. I Two, actually. No, one I didn't eat on the camera. I ate before the camera was on. I cried. <gasps> Bust it. I need to know. This one says it tastes like Greek yogurt. Take it inside. Oh, 
That's so responsible, but out here is so much more fun. We're just out here in the dark. <laughs> Come on, bust it. I don't... You don't have a knife? Okay. I bet there's something in the greenhouse. Let's be responsible. No, I'm never responsible. Oh my gosh, you know you should be waiting. Don't wait, though. I gotta set down my tomatoes. This tomato, these tomatoes are bigger than this melon. Oh yeah, this one's really, it's very ripe. I know, that's why I picked it up. They said pear and Greek yogurt is what it tastes like. Hmm, I need to think about it. You wanna try? Busting open melons and eating them in the garden makes me feel like Mowgli. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> I kind of see what they're talking about. Hold on. This one has a very cantaloupe flavor to it. They said it tasted like pear and Greek yogurt. It's really small though. It's okay, there's a bunch of them. That's a one plant. Wow. Only one plant came up. It's got like 15 melons on there. Okay, so... I don't know my full assessment yet because it's gonna take me a second to think about it. But I definitely see where they got saying that it tastes faintly of Greek yogurt. I can I can see that. I wouldn't have gone to that conclusion on my own, but I see how they got there. Definitely has like a pearish. I think the pearish is not so much the flavor as the texture. It definitely has a pear texture, like a really ripe poo. It's good, I like it. It's got a very cantaloupe flavor, to my opinion. Yeah, I don't know, it's very. Hmm, it's pretty good, chrysanthemum melon. At this point, it really did get too dark for the camera to focus. So we went inside and forgot to say goodbye. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We bless you, until next time.